Hello friends, welcome back to All and Law. And this is a medical video lecture, medical video lecture, microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is classification of very famous bacteria that is antero bacteria shape very big name okay so very important bacteria lie in this group so I'm gonna talk about this and classify this type of antero bacteria shape and before starting a discussion on this I would like to brief you about our channel our channel has nearly right now we have 610 medical video lectures on different topics from anatomy to the medicine and these videos are really very helpful for your USMLA examination for your medical board examination for your medical school examinations so guys please thumb up please share our videos and please subscribe and if you have any feedback please do tell us okay guys so let's talk and classify this EB that's anterobacteria here let me talk E and B okay I would like to tell you briefly about the anterobacteria here okay the anterobacteria here you know that uh, these organisms are firm they ferment the glucose right they ferment the glucose and the important other feature of this is what you call uh, they are gram negative rods okay so you know very well they are gram negative rods right and uh, they ferment the glucose very important feature you should know okay they ferment the glucose ferment the glucose okay anterior bacteria they are oxidase negative can you tell me one bacteria that is oxidase positive that's a pseudomonas right yes remember this Catalyst, but there are other organisms, uh, organisms also that are positive. Just I'm um, for a revision. That's it. A catalase. Tell me what about the catalase test? Whether it's a positive or negative? It's positive over here. Okay. And the other feature is they reduce the nitrates to nitrites. Nitrates to nitrites. Very important. About very important features of anterobacteria share that's the ferment the glucose they are oxidase negative the catalyst positive and nitrates converts the nitrates to nitrites they are gram negative rods right so let's classify these organisms we classify briefly into two types one is lactose fermenting and other is a non lactose fermenting lactose fermenting and other is non lactose fermenting okay in a lactose fermenting the two important bacteria that's e coli and we have klebsiella pneumoniae okay guys so you e coli you know a lot many things about this and this is this bacteria is really very important for uh, usml examination because we get a lot many diseases from this bacteria okay like a travelers diarrhea okay hemorrhagic colitis hemolytic uremic syndrome okay so these are really very important they produce a lot of toxins different toxins like edec eiec ehec okay i'm gonna talk i'm gonna make a different video on e coli because e coli is a really very important topic okay guys and uh, this is one of the important cause for a uti remember okay so Klebsiella pneumoniae, you know, this is capsulated, okay, it causes a pneumonia as name itself indicates. The feature of this Klebsiella pneumonia is, is it gives a current jelly sputum, that's uh, very important, okay. And this is uh, associated with the patients with alcoholism. If in USMLA examination, they give the history that the patient is alcoholic and he develops a pneumonia. And which of the following organism could be the cause for this, for his clinical features or for his 
pneumonia uh, you should think of Klebsiella pneumonia very important if he's alcoholic okay so there are other features also I'm gonna talk about, about the Klebsiella pneumonia I'm gonna make a different video on this okay so let's make on, uh, let's move on to the um, what you got non lactose fermenting uh, um, enterobacteria here we classify it as a motile and H2S producing two types motile and H2S producing okay and other is exactly opposite to that non-motile non-H2S producing non-motile non-H2S producing okay so let me clear the screen and move on to the big screen so that I can tell you about this in the in we have a motile with uh, what you call motile with uh, lack, uh, what you call H2S producing with H2S producing we have a two species important one is a protease is a protease species and other one is salmonella okay so you know the protease species uh, the important feature of this is um, you should remember the important what you call the uh, test for this is indole positive urea is positive right and um, they give what a type of calculi that is known as the stack horn calculi okay if it's a um, protease vulgaris remember the wheel felix test okay uh, so these are the important features of the protease species in a salmonella this is a really very important topic again and uh, you know the what you call typhoid okay viral thirst okay osteomyelitis in a sickle cell anemia sickle the sickle cell disease is there and he develops osteomyelitis the, in USMBL they will ask you which of the following could be the cause for his osteomyelitis remember about the salmonella okay so very important salmonella enteritis is, is seen in the poultry people okay so um, these are the important features of salmonella I'm gonna make a different video on that so let's move on to the non motile and non HTS producing non motile and non HTS producing we have two important species to Shigella Shigella and we have Yersena pestis okay so shigella you know there is no h antigen in this okay they have a sugar toxin like cytotoxin neurotoxin enterotoxin and some other toxin with the name nick 60 su right um they cause enterocolitis bloody diarrhea very important feature of shigella remember bloody diarrhea bloody diarrhea bloody diarrhea okay uh, whereas uh, as in a pestis what you need to remember about this is a uh, bubonic plagues okay very important pneumonic plague you can remember okay and uh, you can remember the, the 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 look on what you call they give a safety pin appearance okay so these are the important feature and this is a coagulus positive bacteria okay so guys i think this uh, was really very helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure this video was really very helpful please do share our videos with your friends please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please don't forget to share our videos thank you so much take care